Y'all been waiting for somebody funny, I guess. Uh, it's hard being a lady comedian because obviously it's all guys, and I never know how long I should stay up here because I'm asking the guys, okay, how long? They always say, oh, a long time. I'm like, but how long? Give it to me. Like, they're like, oh, go up there for a long time. And so they finally give me a time, and it's like three to four minutes, and so it's a point of reference thing. Is that long for men? Oh, it's all men in here. Okay. <laughs> three to four minutes ain't long. Is the point of that? <laughs> uh, this is the last week of February, so I'm really excited because this is obviously the bullshit month of the year. You know why I'm saying that? Not just because it's Black History Month. Because Black History Month actually is a really cool thing because this is the one month that um, I get discounts at local stores and restaurants, you know, for being black. And um, I don't know, I'm like, really? No, we don't get shit. That's what I'm <laughs> no, we don't get that shit. <laughs> okay, clear that up. So just hug the black person before the end of the week and it's, we're all good. Okay, give them a job. Do something. Uh, so I pretty much get screwed all the way around because the only other thing more made up than Black History Month is Valentine's Day. I'm saying only like Kwanzaa, so I'm just fucked on out of count. So I'm ready for February to be over. You know, it's interesting because even though we have a black president and it's like, wow, we're moving so for it, it's still, race is still a real iffy topic. So I have a lot of white friends and coworkers and I have no problem saying, oh, it's a problem for white people or, oh, my white friends, my white coworkers. But whenever they're telling me a story, and they're trying to describe somebody, they struggle when it's a non-white person. So we tell them the story, like, oh my God, I have to tell you the story. The other day I was in the store, right? And um, this lady came up to me and she was mm -hmm, black. And I'm like, wow, okay, it's okay. So I want you to feel comfortable saying black, okay, white people? Don't say it too much though, because then it's a problem. So, and I don't want you to get too comfortable because it's all about moderation. Let me tell you who obviously has lost their mind. Everybody saw the John Mayer Playboy article? One person, the one lady saw the Playboy article. Now y'all, oh y'all don't read the articles, y'all just look at the pictures, my bad, okay. Well John Mayer calls a big stink because he was talking about having sex with Jessica Simpson and how great it was, and he used the N word because he's so cool. And uh, ended up having to go on stage and cry in front of his all black band and apologize. So I figured Russell did the interview when he was drunk. And then something that I guess I was supposed to be offended about was he said, um, and he thought black women were beautiful, but that his penis was a white supremacist. So he actually said this in an article. So everybody's all up in arms, and Hollywood black women were the one that's there, you know, demanded an apology. And I didn't see what the big deal was, because I took it by him saying that his penis was a white supremacist. I thought he was just saying that he wasn't circumcised and he had like a little hood on him or something. <laughs> that's what made me put that out there. I'm sorry to you. 